I have a lot of pretty plants in here that needed to be placed in a pretty pot. Question. Now if you have a pretty pot like this, but wonky, would you drill a hole in it? Look how pretty that is. Look, nice feet. I got it from St. Vinnie's or op shop or thrift store for ten dollars and I just love it and I want to drill a hole in it so would you drill a hole in this pretty pot or would you keep it as is to use for I don't know what <laughs> a wonky jewelry box or a pretty pot for my succulents I am having proper brewed coffee right now because I'm asleep. I need to wake up. Okay, baby, become look, look what I'm having here. I'm having baklava, coffee creamer, and three sugars with my brewed coffee. And ah, it just gives the right amount of punch, Pedro. Mommy's awake. I love baklava. If I slow it down when I pronounce this, baklava. Baklava <laughs> in the Philippines, it says, it means bakla is gay as in happy. <laughs> and ba is like a question mark. So it says, is it gay? Yes, it is. We're happy today, aren't we, Pedro? You don't like that. It's too sweet, aren't you? Mmm, okay. I'll get you some bread. This is my propagation tray that was sitting on the table here and the budgie probably landed on the edge of it and tip it all out and then now <laughs> this is all mixed up so anyway but most of these ones I'm grabbing here are dried up super bomb or super bomb. Now let's put this on the table. While we're on the subject of propagation I thought I'll just show you how to revive a succulent that has germinated and now almost dead because I left it too long. I forgot about it. Look, these are all very, very dry superbum. And I have a seaweed here on the side. What I do with these ones is throw it in there. Okay, there you go. Go babies. You can float like little lotuses the right way up. Come on, it's become waterproof. I'm going to leave them there. This one with roots, it's got dry leaves still, so now it's just all straight roots. Leave it there, uh, drown. <laughs> I'm terrible. No, I intentionally did this just to, just to show you. Oh, my tongue is really whatever from that coffee, I think. <laughs> now, uh, okay, this is Margaret Rose, Graptivaria Margaret Rose, which has been dried up and now it's got some... Uh, hair, okay, we're dropping it there. Okay, it is hair. Now, this one, you can see that it has grown some roots, but, okay, there you go. We insert you there, it's fussy. Okay, but, it's all still nice and plump, but they need to be perked up. Look at that, we're gonna throw them in there, and then an another one there. The beautiful plant. But this one, Belladonna, by the way, doesn't have any roots yet. But I'm just going to throw that in there, sacrificial lamb, to see what happens. Also, this one here, I think this is, I don't know what you are, I can't tell. You look like a superbum as well, but might be something else. But uh, I'll throw that in there, roots and all. Now, you can all drown. And that will just perk up. But this is all what I've been doing from two my dry propagation plants. Now over here, the first of May is when I harvest it. This is actually uh, Sedum Comic Tom or uh, Comic Tom. Now these are all leaf propagations. Can you see all the babies coming out? Look, every single one is coming out and I can see some roots in some of them. So those are the leaves that I've accumulated or gathered and these are the bodies that I stripped. Even the ones that are flowering, I stripped them all up and you can see the roots are coming out. Okay, I'll just put it down there. There's some of them that's just fresh new roots coming out. So this is indoor in my, my former formal dining area. So this is where I've been placing it because my table is just full of stuff. Those I can 
camping stuff that needs to be placed into the caravan. So this one, I forgot about this, my marine. Oh my goodness. This is the 24th of April is when I harvested them. Look at all the roots coming out. It's just sitting here. You don't need to do that much with your propagation. You can just leave them on the tray and they will grow. So there's lots of leaves that are growing so if that's looking variegated chances are they will grow into variegates so my big pot with the variegation that's a propagation that started from leaves now this one here this is most interesting this is who loves a champagne so i have a champagne and pink champagne so i don't know which is probably pink champagne this is inflorescence so it flowers the flower stalk most people remove it because of the mealybug and stuff like that aphids but i left it and so the leaves were quite small you can see the leaves are so okay my finger my thumb okay let's go get that there you go so it's quite small and a lot of them dried up but a couple of them has grown hang on roots look at that that is a baby champagne that I can actually plant and this one look how long the roots of this one is it's like a full manchu oh look mealybug so you see the mealybug see that's a mealybug there on the leaves i am done that okay yep that's a dead mealybug now you see the little baby oh look at that see how cute that is there you go look at that see long roots so if i want to i can plant that now this one pachytoides i think lavender pebbles did not take but all of this now they're all really dry so more propagation in there now that one i can't remember what that is but look at that the leaves are really really dry but the plant is still trying to survive that looks interesting oh delulu they are delulu oh okay that is looks like a monstrous delulu oh there you go so that is worth potting up so I should put that up. That one, oh look, it's crested and variegated maybe, look, because it's from lack of light. So maybe it's just anemic. One has got mealybug in, hang on. So in the center it's got mealybug and then but roots but two heads of plants. So don't need to do anything. You just leave it there and ha uh, half a year I was going to say. Six months later, you can come back and look, cubic frost, the same thing. This one's got eaten by mealybug already, and this one's as well. Oh, look. So I can throw this into the water, and oh, look how long that is. <gasps> what are you? <laughs> it's a tree. It's a bonsai tree that's grown. So I don't know what you are, but it'll be interesting to see. I'm just going to throw, oh, look, tiny. So this is the thing. you got mealybug, but who cares? We're going to throw it in there, into the mix. Oh, okay. There you go. You can all get mixed up and I can just have a surprise container. That coffee is supposed to wake me up, but, and also the bakla is really nice. I feel like having another slice, but anyway. We just came from the hospital and Harvey had some cat scan done and it's negative. He doesn't have any cats at all. <laughs> so anyway, now he's having his uh, left leg radiated. To match up with his right leg that has a rod placed or put in and these ones are fred ives it's actually april 26th i got it backwards normally we start with the day the month and the year but obviously you know where my head is at i've got covid uh, fog now this one has been sitting here for almost a month now so it's the 23rd i think today or may this is the first time i propagated some fred ives from leaves because fred ives basically grows quite uh, it pops out so as you can see in my previous videos oh look at this one this is so interesting this is one of the flower stalk that produce four heads so if you leave the flower or this is what i've noticed with my experience anyway not all the time but i had one flower stalk that produced some babies and it had four babies so look so there's one two three four heads and they are now well and truly needed to be potted up now coming on to winter and fred ives are quite frost hardy so this ones i'm just going to throw them straight into the garden the stalks i cut it off and now it's growing but that will grow into two heads two plants that will separate and stem out and this ones most of them that is the top and this is the bottom here from the bottom even 
you can see all the roots coming out like that and what I do with this one where the roots are if I have to plant this in the garden or in a pot okay put it in the soil like that and then just cover that part there and that will grow and then that will grow and probably more will pop out there so and then later on you can come around and just cut off take off the plants like I did here like remove them these ones are doesn't have any leaves I stripped them but I thought they're just gonna dry out so look at this one. Oh, isn't that interesting also form a cluster cluster head and so this one you can see there's a baby one growing there and that one there is a cluster. Okay, this one's got one leaf. And look, are you going to variegate? I don't know. We wait. So now this one's as well. I like doing experimentations because you can get so many funky plants. But anyway, so the leaf, you can see that they do grow. So in less than, I think it germinated to me, for me, about uh, less than two weeks. It germinated and it even had some powdery mildew so that's powdery mildew powdery mildew and i spritzed the whole lot with my metho solution and they were fine so even without leaves they will grow okay and this one look at oh this one look how many oh my goodness <gasps> every single one oh my god okay i don't want to i can't even find a spot to touch look at that look how many plants there is growing isn't that interesting so i'll count it but uh say a dozen because there's still some coming out like bulging out like those ones there that I'm not even counting look okay it's hard to see so anyway Fred Ives it's a no-brainer just cut them plant them in or stick them in the soil they will grow now this one's as well the leaves are a lot of leaves in it so I gotta have at least well I'd say a hundred leaves <laughs> whether I'm gonna get to plant them I don't know but this one's now that's a crested one so i really love crested plants so i'm gonna do an army of crested fred ives so this one uh, so far i've got one this is a true crested one can you see how it flattens out hang on there you go so that's flat and then on the top it's looking funky as well it's like going monstrous so that's one crested fred ives two crested fred ives oh 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 look at that so another crested one so this one is a maybe that looks funny look so i'll just keep an eye so it's got one big plant and then one small one so maybe but it's flat okay so three so far that i can see oh four maybe four yes yes a crested one so let's just say three that's a good three at least and then this one is form look two separate heads two plants from one leaf speaking of one leaf i think i've already talked about this before but i want to talk about it further oh this one as well my graptopetalum ellen look at them all rooting up look at that and i've done an experiment but i've done this earlier so this is my lavender pebbles here these are all seed grown now this is an ellen on the right hand side here and i've been growing it on water now also my buddha's temple i hacked them all up and yes it's going green again because it was really really dry are you rotting no it's hard so it's trying to absorb water i got more buddha's temple here so it got affected by the sulfur that i sprayed on it so prasulas don't like the sulfur so it seems finally my pudgy is getting stronger so now this pudgy as well look at that so many babies all grown from one leaf one cluster that one look babies they're growing so i just harvested the leaves or now i just removed the leaves and just leave it there so i watered this when it becomes soft the leaves i will talk to you about that i think i should do that on a separate video because it's a title when you're searching for videos it can be complicated when it comes to my videos because i pack my videos with so much information so so many topics that it's really hard to follow for a lot of you so i probably should do some short videos uh of say how to revive or how to water your dry succulents i've shown this before this is my mundas so i had one leaf from that one leaf it grew a baby and the baby i harvested i will show you later on so the first baby i harvested removed it and planted it in a pot the second baby had this one okay so that looks like a lowy because mundas is a hybrid of 
which one is it now yes i think it might be ragnoni I'm, I'm confused now but anyway so it's a hybrid so that's one the second baby and that's the third baby look how tiny that third baby this is all in from one leaf so like one leaf like this and then i harvested it this is a lavender pebble i harvested it and then it grew another baby and then it grew another baby so that was the second and third baby and then these ones are the fourth and the fifth baby but the very first baby this is the first baby so you're gonna say it's impossible yes this is the first mundas that i got from that leaf and the second baby grew to that and the third and then now the fourth and the fifth can you see comparison it's unbelievable i could not believe that but anyway and then this one has lived its life in here in this my little red pot and i bought some champagne in january and then now i'm going to compare the three i'll put it back here i'm going to point out one plant two plant three that's a bundas okay so mundas over here this one is uh white champagne that one is Echeveria Morgane. Look how, hang on, I'll, I'll move this weeping jade here. It's getting in my way. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Okay, it was flowering, by the way. It's about to bloom. Now, can you see the similarity? The Morgane is a little bit pointy, but the Mundas is sort of more defined. It's more like a Romeo shape leaf, isn't it? like that is just beautiful and the tips the coloring look at that it's just delicious now this one as well the white champagne i don't know why they call it champagne maybe white champagne maybe it will all go white i bought it with four heads but it was smaller before now so that goes to show like what i was saying earlier with the Fred Ives, they can still grow into different plants or different forms or they're still going to change. So that's why with when you grow one plant, so say for example my crested here, if I were to harvest that and then I am left with a leaf that's sort of like that, don't throw it away. Just leave it there and who knows, you might get another or two or three or four or five babies from it. So... This one now, it looks like a Delulu. It doesn't look like Mundasa anymore or even the white ones there. But then anyway, I also have some Lawi. Okay, because this one, to me, that looks like a Lawi. And I've got a Lawi here. This is my two-year-old baby Lawi. It just wouldn't grow, but it's just so pretty. Anyway, I don't really like Lawi because I make a mess on my Lawi because I kept watering them on top. But this one is just so cute, isn't it? Like, especially up close in the video because it's small. The minute they grow, they mature or grow big, they become ugly, just like people. So when we're young, we're still cute. And then we grow up and we mature <laughs> and we mature into ugly people now and now we're all this beauty underneath in every <laughs> underneath the outside doesn't look very good but anyway so this one now it looks like my lawi i'll show you my other lawi that i've grown from a leaf so these are my two lawi growing in my grow tent i'll get the smaller one because i think it's about the same size oh, look at that hang on Oh, look at that. Not gorgeous. Hang on. Compare the two. This Lawi is just cuter and fatter. It almost looks like cream tea. But you can see that the edges of the leaves are sort of squared up. Whereas that one, the Mundas is sort of pointy. But isn't that a beautiful plant? The one on the right. So I think I'm going to be falling in love with Lawi now. Uh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So maybe I don't want to promise anything because every time I say something, maybe I should do a video of this. And then someone says, I can't wait. And I feel guilty if I don't find the time to do it because on my busy schedule about a couple of months ago i bought this alocasia sarian african mask i think that's what it's called and it was half the size like it was up to here and only like about four leaves but then now look at all this oh oh my goodness look at that whoa it, it does look like a mask isn't it 
If you put two holes in there, you can put it, uh, put elastic on the side, put it over your head. It does look like a mask. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I need to tie them up to make them all compact. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this. This is like over a meter from the base of the soil. I'm five foot four, probably it's about four foot nine inches tall. Oh, and then I'm just looking here. What was this one? This one I broke off the other day. And so now I'm putting it in here with no water. Look, it's dry in there. And I just left it there and it's rooting. So only a few days. So I think this is my pink uh, purple delight, but I suspect it could be something else. So I lost the label, but anyhow, or any who I like to say, oh, look, serrated edge for my Kante. Can you see the serrated edge? This is now less than 24 hours later. Look what happened to the super bomb. It's now a super bomb. <laughs> They're all perked up. See, remember yesterday? Okay, I should really do a comparison. So there's one side. On the left is the new plumbed up super bomb or super bomb. And on the right is the old one. <laughs> See, look at that, huh? And let's go check the roots. If I can find a spot here, don't tip over. Oopsie. Okay, that tips over, that's it. Good night, Josephine. Okay, see the roots all have perked up and there's still few leaves in the bottom. Can you see the wrinkly bit? But the center is taking it all in and plumping up. Look at that. Ah, there you go. So have no fear. Soak your succulent here. Okay, what's the condition of this one? This is, uh, got attacked by mealybug. This is my variegated suyon. It was a big cluster and then by the time I noticed it, mealybug got attacked outside and rotted because the pot was ready, sort of it sunk. I was gonna do a video, but that's like six weeks ago. And by the time I remembered, it's already drying out. Well, not drying out, dying. And this one, I uh, chop it off and then let it dry up here, callus off, and then it went really wrinkly. Look, look, you can still see the wrinkles there. Anyway, so I gave it some anti-wrinkle cream, seaweed solution, and that's it. Now, I already gave away one to my friend, and Joanne, hope that grows what I gave you, because I feel bad because she gave me so much plants again. But anyway, but that's on the next video. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm going to inspect this one. Oh, money maker. You're going to be making lots of money?